Yo, what up guys, in today's video we have Spartan George. I found this at the Quell Springs Target in Oklahoma City. So let's get into it. I'm sorry guys. Tricky. Oh, one sec, guys. Um, let me take this behind the camera. This one's kind of tricky. He's so skinny, and I don't have very steady hands, so it's kind of hard. Alright, there we have it. Tape is not cut. Let me put my knife away. And let's get into this. Alright. Dang it. One second, be right back. Guys, thanks for your patience. I had to, um... Ooh, that's two parts. Well, I had to, I'm like, um, there was a figure over here that fell. I had to put it back together, so thank you. Let's get take a look at this accessories. Now, as you can see, if any of you guys have George, he only comes with one accessory. Or one weapon. No, he comes with multiple accessories, but one weapon. And that's a machine gun, which I would have liked the secondary, but it does make sense to reach, because in reach you never see him wielding a different weapon besides his classic machine gun. So it does make sense to the trilogy. Which I'm personally fine with that so now we got these out let's take a look at the machine gun it's actually heavier than i thought it would be it's not overly heavy but it's it's gonna be pretty front heavy whenever i have george hold this on display so that that's a problem that they need to fix i may have him like mounted on his back like that this way that way it's not too front heavy it's more top heavy and if i like position the top just right it may be able to work uh but no he comes with his backpack is um George's backpack right here. So and this means I have all the figures in Wave 5 except for Arbiter. All the um Spartan Collection Wave 5 except for the deluxe Arbiter. But I have all the single members. All the um regular members. That happens really easy. Get the hands out. Let's put George back together. There we go. Now let's set him up over here. Now let's, the, lay down. Now let's get the hands out. Now, now that we've let the hands loose. Now that we've let the hands loose, let's check. Let's take a look at all his hands. So he comes with. Five hands. First, we have a fist hand, a trigger hand, a trigger finger hand, another trigger finger hand, like some sort of pointer. Or like, oh no, I know what this is. Like when you talk on their comms, they put it up to their ear. Oh, yeah, something like that. Then another one of those comm ears for the other hand. So now, let's have George. Let's mount George's backpack on him. Right like that. He has, his backpack goes on pretty nice. It's not loose at all. It'll stay on like that. Now, a big complaint I have is you can't really bend him back for articulation or else this happens. His ball is really loose. It likes to come out. So this is pretty much all you can do. But it does have a good range of motion. But let's put the backpack back on it. It kind of fell off. Now, if you wiggle it or something like that, it's like, and this is pretty loose. I want to... Yeah, so but the backpack if I was just like setting it on the shelf it'd be fine so there's the backpack let's set George down over there now the machine gun 
Let's get it back in his hand. Let's get it in his hand. Now, just like Tavoris' machine gun, it has this one here. Or Tavoris has a scrap can. My bad. Dang it. His machine gun's not wanting to cooperate today. That's okay. I don't want to cooperate with it either. It'll, he'll hold it. Don't worry. All right. One sec. I'll be right back. All right. So I got the machine gun in his hand. Finally. I know. Thanks, mate. So he holds it really well. No real complaints here. So for the articulation, let's get the machine gun out of his hand. For the articulation, his elbow bends a little bit, uh, slightly over 90 degrees. A little bit of hyperextension, a little bit of flexion. Shoulder goes up, turns her all the way around. Head on a ball, spins. That's as far as I'm gonna take it because I'm afraid of the ball will pop out. Now the waist, as you already saw, can turn. Push it too far back, it comes out like that. Nothing happens if you push it forward. Well, if you push it too far, it will, but. Ah, uh, stop talking now. Knees bend about that much. Leg goes up and out, or say out, but it's not wanting to go out. Go that far out. George has really tight joints, so you can about go that far out. Internal and external rotations. Wrists, twists all the way around. Ankle, down, up. Toe articulation, toes go up. Not, don't go down at all. And that's it. That's it for the articulation. So. Oh, let me get him to stand up. You know what? Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.